Hey, welcome back to Better Preparedness. I thought I'd do a follow-up episode. Last week I did one on mountain biking in about two to five degrees Celsius weather and how to dress for it. Well, today is road biking. And I was out on the good old Ridley Helium this morning. There's a lady going by and a rowing skull down there, which is pretty cool. It is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous morning here in Ottawa. It started off at about zero degrees Celsius and has gone to probably about five, six degrees. It's fairly chilly in the shade, but it's warmed up a lot since the ride started this morning. And what I thought I'd do is sort of do a comparison and why it's different road biking versus mountain biking. First of all, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure you do click the subscribe button, click the like button. After you click subscribe, click the bell, and that, may, that way you won't miss any episodes. Now the big difference between road biking and mountain biking is the speed. Today is a beautiful day. Last week was a really cloudy overcast day, so it's not going to change or warm up. And today the big difference is of course the sunshine and that's gonna result in some warmth to your clothing and then warming up. But the big thing is the speed, and you have to plan for that. When you're road biking, you're gonna get a lot of air moving through everything, your, your head, your, your feet, your hands, and you know, crotch. <laughs> you have to plan for everything. And the big difference, I find, is you have to have more wind protection. Now, I'm still wearing this Bianchi jersey. I have to say, this has become kind of my fall weather favorite. It's got a bit of fuzz on it underneath. It's got a teeny bit of wind protection. I think I'd mentioned last week. I'll put a link to that video from last week. The big difference is this week I have a wind vest that I put underneath this uh, Bianchi vest and this was really nice. I had to modulate it a bit because it got warmer on some of the big climbs and it was really nice to be able to change the the temperature with how much I opened this up and then just have a long sleeve quick dry shirt underneath this the wind vest and then this in terms of the legs well it's the same riding shorts and the same length of leg warmers these are kind of i think they're about one of the only long full length ones i have knee length ones and, you know various things for various people right and what i did for here now i have right so road cycling shoes i do have velcro on the front to block the air vents but today, given the speeds uh, with my buddy and I, I knew I was going to need a bit of wind protection. This was definitely nice. My feet were toasty, toasty warm. These, I bought these years ago. They don't have any waterproofness, but they're really good against wind and they're a little bit fuzzy inside. They kept my feet really nice and dry and warm. On the head, definitely when you're riding, <laughs> quick technology change as the SD card filled up. So on the head, I had my cycling toque, cross-country ski toque, these slightly windproof gloves. These were a great purchase. I paid about 30-ish dollars, about uh, 30 Canadian, that's probably about 25 American. And the duct-taped helmet kept the airflow reduced so that this was warm enough. And you definitely need glasses because the amount of wind, the cold wind was about zero degrees. And it's fully rideable. Different people wear different things. You probably could have gotten away with different combinations, probably even you know less than this. So this is a, bit, a little bit overkill, but I have to admit I was toasty warm. And you know, following up on what I was saying last week for the mountain bike video, it doesn't have to be expensive. Don't necessarily wear what your friends are wearing if you're not warm enough. If you're uncomfortable, you know, you finish a ride with your hands frozen, you don't have to. So try different combinations, have different pairs of gloves with you. You can duct tape your shoes like I've been doing, uh, bring booties, you know, try different things, try combinations. You can even try a balaclava under your helmet. Uh, once it gets really chilly, I'll usually move to that because then that gives a bit more general head warmth. But just try combinations. It's really testing and testing. And make sure if you're someone who does get chilled very quickly or easily, make sure you just bring what you need to absolutely be comfortable. Not overheat and sweat and then, then you have a huge problem of, of getting a chill, but just try combinations of things because then you'll be more comfortable, you'll enjoy things more, and gear does not have to be expensive. Just get a, a bunch of things, you know, especially off season. And maybe I'll do a video sometime on the range of gloves. And again, they're not expensive. They just, different gloves do different things in different conditions better. And of course, once you get into rain, it really changes things. 
and that's where you know you wouldn't wear the same outfit if, if there was the chance of rain I would have had a little bit more rain protection with me and if there's definitely gonna be rain then it'd be a very different set of kit so make sure you plan for that plan your bike so I've got got my tool pouch here oh, it's completely done up bike pump on the other side blinky lights front and back just make sure you're safe make sure you're comfortable and then you'll have a much more enjoyable riding and safe riding experience all right well if you hope, hope you enjoyed this video well, i'll put a link to some footage from this video it's absolutely amazing fall colors uh, here in ottawa and gatineau on the other side of the river and thanks for watching better preparedness click that like and subscribe button and just click the little bell icon after you've pressed the subscribe button all right thanks for watching take care